acrylic nails with glitter and cute reindeer in this video coming up hey guys Anastasia here let's try two-in-one model ones powders those are acrylic powders but you can also use them as deep powders that's why they're called two-in-one they all have this protective seal and also I have an acrylic kit with monomer and clear acrylic powder Let's take a look at the colors. This one is 61. I would like to try them as acrylic powders first because I use acrylic a lot and this color is quite nice. You can see more colors on the screen now. All the numbers are in the upper right corner. Most colors are really bright. There are also two or three colors that are like jelly colors. But I also like they have unusual colors such as dusty pink, dusty purple, which is quite unusual for acrylics, and a few glitter colors such as red, bronze, and golden ones. What really impressed me in these colors is that the pigment is so good that your brush is not get clogged with the color as well as the monomer stays clean. Let's try them on extensions now. First, let's push back the cuticles. I will use clear acrylic powder and a monomer. And for the colors, we decided to go with the red, glitter red and nude color, because those are like typical holiday colors. Let's apply dehydrator on the nail. I already fit the form and one coat of non-acid primer. This is what I normally use for acrylic system. I will start the application with the free edge and the clear powder. If you are going to work with any color acrylic powders or glitter, I always recommend to use clear because clear it's like a basic color, it's the color without any additional pigments. It sets a bit faster compared to the color acrylics and also if your client will decide to change the color when you will be doing fill, once you have this clear foundation it will be much easier to change it. I am going to create not only the free edge out of clear acrylic, but also to cover the entire nail bed for the better adhesion and for the reasons I just mentioned, because probably we will be changing the colors later, because normally when the holidays are finished, the clients want some different colors and we are definitely going to change it. The most important part is to not apply too much of the clear at this point, because there might be not enough space for the glitter and once you will start filing, some of the colors might simply file off. Sometimes I get comments from another nail technicians like, oh, Anastasia, it takes so long for you to do the application, how do your client manage to wait for so long? The thing is, yes, that's totally true, I'm not rushing as you can see, by the way, now I'm showing you the real time of my application, it's not speed up or slowed down, and it does take quite a while, absolutely, but also I do not really spend much time on filing, I always prefer to do a precise application, you know, to do a good cuticle work, the side walls, the shape, everything. So I will just slightly shape it and that's it. It's just so much easier for me to work this way. Now let's take this red. It has some silver glitter in it and this color is so beautiful. Most glitter acrylic colors that I worked with before definitely have some clear powder in it. So once you start the application, you can still see some empty spots. But this one really has enough glitter, as you can see, which is quite nice. First, I thought we are going to do an ombre from the free edge towards the cuticle. But then I thought, well, maybe let's do the entire nail covered with glitter and we will go with the ombre on the different nails. If you decide to do that, like the entire nail covered with the glitter, make sure that near the cuticle you will apply a super thin layer because we also need some space to do the encapsulation with the clear. So basically near the cuticle, 
the glitter is just like one layer and that's it also do not use too much monomer when you are doing the cuticle work because it may flood the cuticles and it will be almost impossible to file it off even with the e-file if you did it accidentally just use an orange wood stick and quickly clean it before it sets up then let's seal it with the clear by the way in my office these days it's quite hot because I live in a cold country so the heating system is usually working pretty well so I have to do it in a several beads but if your room temperature is normal you can definitely do this with one bead then wait for a few moments till it sets up carefully take off the form make sure it's not too wet and slightly pinch the nail and proceed with the next one as for the setting time for model ones I would say it's medium and even a little bit slow so it will definitely work perfectly for beginners as well as for pros keep in mind that setting time may be quite different depending on the temperature you have in the room on the brush you're working with because if you're using a big brush you can definitely pick more monomer at one time it also depends on the technique and the color you're using, such as glitter colors usually have slower setting time compared to the regular colors. On this nail we decided to go with the ombre to do this I need to start with the cuticle area once again the consistency should not be too wet because you may simply flood the cuticle and then simply blend the color towards the free edge Wow this color is so easy to blend this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite ones since we use the clear on the bottom to do the foundation now we have an ombre from glitter to the clear one and if you see some empty spots or maybe you just want to conceal the free edge of the natural nail just feel free to do this and cover it with more glitter We're done with the application and if you're wondering what happened to this nail like what is this in the center well there was a tiny bubble which I'm pretty sure no one would ever see or notice but I decided that it should not be there so I decided to fix it and this is what happened well things like that happen sometimes but we can always fix that by shaping and filing and then maybe adding more color on the top I decided to slightly file the nails with the e-file first and then I switched to the hand file. This is 180 grit file. I need to file them a little bit on top and shape the nails as well. Make sure that all the length matches as well as the shape is consistent from one nail to the other. At this point we can clean the dust. This is what we have after shaping and filing and let's go with the design. I will be using model ones gel polishes this one is from retro lady collection I recommend you to start with the horns they look some kind of like a branches of the trees do not make them too thin and also I decided to add these lines where we'll be adding Christmas decorations later then I will be using a black gel polish to create the eyes and at this point it is better to freeze cure the design and then we seal it with the top coat because the rest of the design will be on top I will be using the same 2-in-1 acrylic powders to create nose 
This is the same color that we used for the extensions. I was quite curious if it can be used for the design and yes, absolutely. The only difference is that you need to take less monomer. The consistency should be almost dry to do that. And with the same color, I will create the balls on his horns as the Christmas balls decorations. For this kind of tiny details, it is definitely much easier and better to use the smaller brush, but I was just feeling lazy at this point and decided to use the same one. It's better to create a different size of the Christmas balls. I think it will look much better this way. Adding white glares in his pupils and cure it. And also let's seal it with the top coat because it will shine so much better this way and the surface will be super smooth. By the way, we could leave it just like that, but I think the shiny Christmas balls as well as his glitter nose will look so much better compared to the matte ones. It will also add some volume so it will look like a 3D. Now my favorite part, sealing with the top coat, especially the ones with the glitter. Now we can see the actual colors, cure it in LED for 30 seconds. And we decided that we also need to add some decorations on this nail and go with the Christmas ball. This is 87 acrylic 2-in-1 powder by Model Once. I simply take the bead, just wait a little bit until it sets, and then with a flat brush that's almost dry, you just top it so it will not be as big, it will be a little bit more flat, and then I'm just adding the line, like this Christmas ball is hanging somewhere, and seal it with a top coat. And once I cure it, I also decided to add the white glare with the white gel paint. Cure it and the design is ready. Let me guys know what do you think. It was quite fun doing this and I'm super impressed with the quality of the colors of Model 1's acrylic powders and can definitely recommend them to you. All the links as well as my discount code will be in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!